Okay, crude oil. Crude oil comes from the ground, we pump it up, and the reason we want it is because it's a good source of hydrocarbons, which we, most, we use mostly for fuels. So what are hydrocarbons? Hydrocarbons are compounds containing hydrogen and carbon only. Okay. Most of the hydrocarbons found in crude oil, but not all of them, but most of them are alkanes. They belong to a homologous series, the alkanes. What is a homologous series? It's a family of compounds of the same functional group where each successive member differs by CH2. Okay. So the alkanes are an example of a homologous series. Alkenes will be another example. Alcohols are another example again. Okay. So this word functional group, what is that? It's a part of the organic molecule responsible for its chemical properties. Well, alkanes themselves aren't very reactive. So alkanes don't, you know, their, their functional group is almost that like they don't have one. Okay, but other things like alkenes, their functional group would be the C double bond C. Alcohols would be the OH. Okay. So there are two definitions that you definitely need to know. Let's have a little bit more, another bit more look at the alkanes. The alkanes start off by looking at the name, methane, ethane, propane. So they all end in ane, A-N-E, because they're all alkanes. Okay, here we've got the structural formula. So the structural formula shows you the number of carbons and hydrogens, but also gives you an idea about how they're arranged. And here we've got the display formula. Important things to remember about alkanes, well, in fact, about all organic chemistry, is that every carbon makes four bonds. So you can see here methane, the carbon's bonded to four hydrogens. In ethane, it's got a carbon to carbon bond and then three hydrogens. So four bonds per carbon. Okay, so that's displayed formula. You show every single bond. Structural formula is you, you're showing, uh, it's kind of like a simplified version of displayed formula, just taking the bonds out. And then we carry on looking, we've got here skeletal formula and molecular formula as well. So we've got butane, pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, decane. Okay, those first 10 you need to know the names. The first part of the names tell you how many carbons. Okay, and you see later on with other homologous series that the first part of the name stays the same, the end changes depending on the functional group. Notice the difference between a molecular formula and a structural formula. Okay? The molecular formula simply tells you how many of each atom or each element there is in the, in the, uh, in the molecule. Well, the structural formula gives you an idea about the structure. Skeletal formula then, what does this show us? It shows us the carbon to carbon bonds. So this is butane, it's got four carbons. The end of each line is a carbon, so it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we've got four carbons. And then the zigzag shape shows us a bit more about what the shape actually looks like of butane. Okay, these display formulas don't give us much idea about the shape, but these, each one of these carbons is tetrahedral, so the shape would be more like that. Okay, so you can see that just as the chain gets longer, you get more zigzags. So this one's decane, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten carbons. Okay, so you need to be able to do structural formula, display formula, molecular formula, skeletal formula, and name all the first alkanes, first 10 alkanes.